Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Through this video, you can write down the notes of class 10th history lesson, Nationalism in India. I have included points to remember that is important points and 22 questions from the chapter that I could think of. And uh, every year I've seen these questions only being repeated again and again. On every slide, I will pause my video for five to six seconds so that you can also pause the video and you can write down the notes or you can take a screenshot and write it later. And I'm not explaining this because I have already created a video on explanation of this lesson. So those are eight videos in total and they include lots of pictures and flowcharts and full explanation of the lesson. In case you get a question, what were the two novel methods of mass agitation used by Gandhiji? So those two methods were Satyagraha and non-violence. The initial three Satyagrahas launched by Gandhiji and this is uh, something that you have to practice for map work also, Champaran, Kheda and Ahmedabad. And I've created a separate video on all the maps of your class 10th syllabus. Now this question, what factors contributed to the launch of non-cooperation movement? So there were lots of factors which included Rowlett Act, Jallianwala Bagh Massacre and Khilafat movement. So I have given 13 points in total, but you don't have to write 13 points of this question is asked, you have to write only five points. So you will include all three movements and write one or two lines about it. But I have given uh, all the points because in case you get a five marker on just Jallianwala Bagh massacre or Khilafat movement, then you should be having the points. So included, including them in a separate question would have made the question answers too huge. How did NCM unfold in towns and cities? An important question, often repeated in exams. Why did the initial enthusiasm towards non-cooperation movement slow down? A very important question and the first three points are most important. Now the seventh one I'm explaining a little bit. Why did tribals in Andhra region, peasants in Awadh and plantation workers in Assam participate in NCM? How did they interpret the call for Swaraj? Basically, it's a like I have created only one answer on this. So I have created a very long answer. But you do not get this question as it is. Either you get uh, it on tribals or on peasants or on plantation workers. These were the three participants of non-cooperation movement. So you can be asked... Why did they participate? Just this. Or you can be asked, uh, how did they interpret the call for Swaraj? That means, how, what, do they, what did they think of Swaraj? For most people, Swaraj did not mean self-rule. They did not link it with independence. For them, Swaraj meant solution of their problems. Like tribals thought they will be allowed to graze their cattle. They would be allowed to enter forest area. So you usually get questions separately on these points. But I've included them all together to avoid confusion. So do not think that it is a huge question. So here it is on peasants of Awadh. Why did they participate? How did they participate? And how did the peasants in Awadh interpret the call for Swaraj? And this question is on plantation workers. Usually in this topic, it is asked who were the participants and why did they participate? Usually this is asked instead of interpretation of Swaraj and how did they participate. So reasons are usually asked. 
describe the economic impact of ncm it is given in the book also less important question but i have included because once i saw this in board exams objective of simon commission why did people boycott simon commission and how did indians welcome the simon commission importance of congress session held in 1929 at lahore very very important question and otherwise also we should know this information why was this session important again an important question on civil disobedience movement how did it start remember one line you cannot forget that breaking of salt law started the civil disobedience movement features of civil disobedience movement that means how did people participate event that marked the beginning of civil disobedience movement this is often asked as a one marker breaking of salt law marked the beginning of civil disobedience movement so you cannot forget and salt march this is also very very important another very important question difference between non cooperation movement and civil disobedience movement now this is a similar question just like we saw for ncm who were the participants of civil disobedience movement and why did they participate so there were five participants mostly children make a mistake here in case of ncm question they write the participants of cdm and in case of cdm they write the participants of ncm so both the questions are very important and they cover a huge part of the lesson so you cannot make this mistake and it is asked as a five marker what was gandhi ji's attitude towards untouchables i've never seen this question coming in exams why did people did not participate in cdm or limitations of cdm or who did not participate in cdm so it is regarding dalits and muslims that they did not participate in cdm and this is also a very very important question often asked So remember one thing i have given it as a long answer i have given five points for dalits five for muslims but if this question comes as a five marker so you don't have to write 10 points you will include two three points from dalits two three points for muslims mainly five points have to be covered including main reasons but i have given five for both because separately also question is asked on single one of them okay so this question is less important but this one why did congress reject the idea of first round table conference it can be asked but again it's less important now this is on pune pact what was the significance and what were the such solutions suggested by ambedkar and gandhi ji pune pact is important extremely important question often repeated question and you must go through this uh, factors that led to growth of nationalism and once i saw the question a three marker question was asked just on images and uh some symbols so like uh, that means on one of these points a three marker was asked so this is very very important this question is on rowlett act but i added it later so 
it's not in sequence. Same with this one who formed Swaraj party, added it later, so it's not in sequence, but very important. This is one portion, students, on which I have not included any question. Regarding Gandhi even pact, you can see the information in important points, but after Gandhiji participated in the second round table conference and returned to India, what he found and like Congress was declared illegal and some leaders were in jail. So then Gandhiji relaunched the civil disobedience movement. But when it was relaunched, it lost its momentum. It was because all the participants who participated when it was first launched, they did not see any change happening and the movement was called off because of the Gandhi Irwin Pact. So when it was relaunched, they did not uh, find enthusiasm in joining it properly. They joined, but they were not very enthusiastic. On Quit India Movement also, I have not included any questions. So kindly go through this paragraph. And remember, it was launched in 1942. Thank you so much. I have created a video on maps. I have created a video on explanation of this chapter. So for complete coverage of the chapter, you can go through those. Do share the video and like it. Thank you.